one hour fifty. Took twenty minutes to get the box off, and then the rest of the time was sat waiting for the box, a full box, to be put onto my truck. Turn right at the roundabout, taking the fifth exit. Unreal. Take the fifth exit. Yeah, let me out then. There we go. So I'm going to go up to uh, <coughs> Ranham's now, pull in there, and uh, go to the loo, make a coffee, and then I'm uh, I should have enough time to get up there. I've only used one hour twenty so far, and I'm on a clean. Yeah, no, I'm all right. I was so long on the docks. Enter the roundabout, take the first exit. lights what I thought I had done was I come out of the docks there you look, always check there's a camera that <coughs> you're given the option of checking the top of the box and I always do that looked like there was a shadow on it I, I, I couldn't tell exactly what it was so I phoned them up I, you press the intercom and you go through and I said, oh, yeah, there's something on the box. He said, no, 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 there's no damage. I can't see if there's any damage. And I said, no, it's nothing to do with damage. I said, there's, there's an object. Oh, I'm pretty certain there's an object up there. So he looked and he said, no, there's nothing up there, mate. Just some standing water. So, you know, it, it, the pictures aren't clear, especially in the dark. So I said, right, okay, if that's, that's what you reckon it is, I'll go Turn with what you say. Exit. So I've done my bit, I've checked. If it comes off now, I can't really do anything about it. I can't see nothing up there. And of course you can't get up to have a look. can't you can't do that so uh, that's so he was right and it was just standing water Here and make some coffee. Concrete road, don't you just love them? Wipers working again. <clears throat> so it's nearly six o'clock in the morning. I 
I mean, we always you always say that you know you allow an hour of bottle, so I'm within I'm within the parameters of what on average we have we we allow what I allow as a driver, you know. Anything less than that is a result, I suppose. But even so, when you, when you get one box off in 20 minutes, and then you spend the rest of the time just sat there waiting. And there's not even that many straddlers working. Whether they're all on holiday, because it's, you know, end of the year and all that sort of malarkey, or, or what it is, but... You know, when you've got that many VBSs, you need to get, this, you need to get staff in to to cope with the demand. You know what boxes are on the key, you know what boxes are Enter going out. Take the third you need to have the straddlers there to be able to lift them from the from the stacks to the uh, to the trucks. <coughs> take the third exit towards M3, towards London. And this is the part of the problem with um, this whole shortage of driver scenario. Yes, the industry is short of drivers well documented fact but the drivers that are used or the drivers that are left <coughs> are not utilized correctly because of waiting times you know we're going to places and it's taking um, four or five hours to unload I had a mate he was a, he was a works for a different company on general haulage he was in somewhere nine hours the other day and then at the end of the day they told him to come back the next day. It's like, hang on a minute. He should have been loaded in under an hour, up the road, job, and on to the next one. It's just it's just a, a complete and total waste of driver's times and company's times, you know. And it's the haulage companies have got to, you know, they're the ones that take up the slack. They're the ones that don't get paid the waiting times. Uh, it's it, it's a, a crazy scenario to be in. Oh, yesterday I was five hours in a place unloading. nice and light anyway, I was pulling well up there. I'll clean my mirrors as well, that's shitty. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Won't be able to get round here on the right. No. It's looking a bit chock a block in here. It's looking a bit on the busy side. I don't know, I can um, sneak down here. It's handy. Let's do that. Take the next right. That'll do me, sunshine. Right, let's get sorted. Speak to you in a bit. Hello, right, all sorted. 15 minutes done. Fresh pot of coffee brewed. Mirrors cleaned. Rough coming out of there, jeez. Oh. You might you pay in parking fees. You know the, the guys that stay in the you know in all the services. It's 
I got paid for 30, 32 quid last night it was, cheaply. And um, the state of the roads though, cheaply to be fair, I've just done theirs, they've re tarmacked the whole lot, but right there, I mean it's a similar sort of amount of money to stay there for the boys that stay there overnight, but the, the, the roads are just, the tarmac in and out is just horrendous, it's like you're paying a lot of money, you need to fill the potholes in. Oh, Australia M3, M25, joy of joy. <clears throat> Just leave you on here until uh, we get on to the M3. speed up going downhill on the flat so uh, we'll see how far we get past it before we come spurting by This could be my last run, but well, it is the last run, last run of the year. She's nine ton. Well, nine ton box so that puts me at around uh, at 25 26 ton I think hang on uh, yeah about 26 yeah 26 27 ton max Holding so, um, keep right towards M3 towards London. I mean, Adam. Uh, 
hurting on things. So I should be left with over 100 miles left in the tank, just over 100 miles when I get back. <clears throat> so I'll be uh, I'll be running low, but uh, I'm 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 all right. I'll be all right. And that. Yeah, it's going up anyway. It always takes a little bit of time to settle itself down. To get a good, to get to get an average. They're telling me I've got 325 mile in the tank left. Let's see if that goes up. What did I say? 323. <clears throat> see if it goes up. <coughs> so it's a steady flow of traffic as you can see. Plenty of red lights. Stretching out in front of me. Just up. A few eels around here. Tuesday Tuesday, the week before Christmas So in case I forget I'd just like to say thank you to everyone that's uh, watched the channel um, I didn't think anybody would and uh, so thank you, thank you to all those that have, you know, like, comment as well, you know, there's the, there's the faithful regulars, thank you very much, to you guys, um, I'll try to reply, I just realised as well that if I, I've always, when, whenever you've left a comment, I've always just liked it, but you don't realise that's me, I don't think, so if I press a heart, if I click the heart button now, it comes up with my little icon, so, you know it's me, so <laughs> I'll do that from now on. And most of the comments I do try to 
do try to uh, answer or reply to in some way or form or another. Um, <coughs> as always, it's a question of time, isn't it? But you know, you know, I'll, I'll do, I'll do a, a, any questions you got to fire them away. I'll, uh, I'll try and answer. Thank you, thank you very much. It's just, just it means it means a lot to be honest with you. It really does. Uh, it's, it's it's humbling and surprising. <laughs> it does make me chuckle though. I've got to admit. And uh, as I always say, um, well, do you know what? I've had a, I've had a couple of comments recently that have, that have almost. You know, it just made me, uh, made me like I say, it made me feel really humbled. I originally, oh yeah, I have. The, the, the idea behind what I'm doing was that I believe, or I think, possibly, because there's a good chance of it, that my memory is going to be, by another 20 years, it's going to be shot to pieces. So I wanted to record, and it helps with my mental health. It really does, actually. Um, to record what I do. So in 20 years' time, I can look back on this and, you know, and think what an idiot I was. And um, yeah, so that's the reason behind it. To have a record, like a like a, a, a moving diary, rather than just words on a page. You know, a visual stimulant for me when I'm when I'm older. And uh, yeah, that's why I started doing it. But it's turned into like. Some of the co some of the comments I've had have, have been really nice, and um, if I if, and if I can just I know it, it just sounds sounds really weird, doesn't it? But if I can make someone happy by you know doing a half hour video, I'll move over here. They're going to let me over. No, yep. Yeah. Now if I can make you know, if I can brighten up someone's day in one way, shape, or another, or just put a smile on their face because I've said something fucking then my job is done. My job is done. You know, if I can make just one person happy a day, as far as I'm concerned, that's a result. And uh, and, uh, and what I don't mean like ecstatic, jumping around and fucking whooping for joy, but just, a, you know, fucking while away their time for half an hour, and they're, they're, they're willing to do that, sacrifice, you know, sac there's only 24 hours in a day, and if you're willing to spend half an hour of your precious time watching me, then wow, thank you. And uh, you know, and if if, if you, you know, if you've enjoyed the video, and then uh, then yeah, made my day, made my day. And um, I hope I've sort of helped you guys, if girls, if I have, brilliant. If I haven't, well, <laughs> and I do know that I piss people off when we swearing. <clears throat> and my views but I really don't care so <laughs> tough <coughs> um, but yeah it's, it's a yeah it's a strange one it's a strange one very strange and something I wasn't expecting I've got to be honest I wasn't expecting it and um, so yeah I, I, I enjoy doing them and it's, I'll do them as long as I can. Um, yeah, you see how it goes. So anyway, I hope you've all had a, 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 a relatively good year. Um, personally, I've lost a few people along the way. So, uh, yeah. But, you know, the year is... Uh, the year's been, uh, it's been okay, well, best of a bad job, isn't it? I think that's about all I can say, really. Um, it's not been a, it's not been a good year. It's not been all roses, but we're still here, aren't we, you know? And like I always say, if you wake up in the morning, 
that's a that's a good day. That's a start of a good day. Whatever happens after that is 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 really, um, you know, is in your own hands, isn't it? Or somebody else's. So uh, yeah, but if you can wake up and you can wake up in the morning, you're ahead of the game. And at the moment, I think that's about all you can hope for. Yeah, we live in strange times. So, have a wonderful Christmas. If I don't say so, so don't say so later. Have a wonderful Christmas and a fantastic. And uh, let's let's hope, let's hope for a good New Year. At the end of the day, that's all we can do, isn't it? Eh? So, <clears throat> tell your loved ones you love them. Give them all a big hug if you can. Social distancing and all that bollocks. But those in your household, you know, your missus, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your partner, whatever it is, tell them. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'll be putting on a little bit more once I get out, or maybe as I go into Enfield, or when I, probably when I come out of Enfield now, unless there's some serious fuckwittery on the M25, I don't know, we'll see what happens. <coughs> I've got a 86 mile to go. I've got a pint of coffee to drink. And I've got some biscuits. Not Jaffa Cakes. I forgot to get my Jaffa Cakes down. They'll be on the way back. I'm saving them. They're on the way back. So I'll speak to you all in a bit. <coughs>